Hey YouTube, San Frank here. This week's episode of Hobby Talk, I can really only think of one subject that is on my mind this week, and that is, did Tops just kill Sapphire? Um, yeah, so if you didn't know, uh, Top Sapphire, they've been doing this, it's a Topps Chrome Sapphire. Um, this is a uh, first place Texas Rangers. Um, sapphire card. Sapphire is just like a parallel um, chrome card with this. They're really nice looking cards. They come in, they're usually fairly low printed print numbers. And they have these uh, this cracked ice atomic with the blue borders. And they call it Topps Chrome Sapphire. And you can get parallels like I believe there's greens, aquas, golds, oranges, reds, and I believe the one of ones are um, like a, I can't remember the name of the uh, Pepperdashia or something like that. It's like a pink color, but that's Topps Chrome Sapphire. So it's very popular and um, for the most part, they've, the print runs have been fairly um, decent where um, if you wanted a box, you could probably get one. Um, this is the uh, 2022 Topps Chrome Sapphire, and this is the 2022 Topps Update Chrome Sapphire. Now, I think this these boxes were $200 each, um, and you had to get them from Topps.com. Um, at least originally, it says Topps.com exclusive on there. I think these were $200, maybe I'm wrong, and I think those were like $160. Um, when they released uh, this past year. And they they always sell out. I think the Bowman Chrome Sapphire, I did buy a box of that, but the prices on those spiked, so I sold my box. I never did open it. So it's kind of a fun box to either buy to crack open if you got it for a good deal, or they generally, not always, but they generally um, go up in price over time, so they're also have been good boxes to buy and just put away a box if you want to. Like I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna put away that box because I, I love Topps Chrome Update this year. I mean, look at all those great rookies that right there on the front of that box. So many. Um, it was loaded with great rookies, and um, there are no redemptions in that Topps Chrome Update um, Sapphire, so it doesn't really hurt you to keep it sealed when you're not gonna possibly get a redemption card. But anyway, fast forward to this week, 2023 Bowman Sapphire was getting released. And instead of, you know, just selling it like normal on their uh, tops.com website, they decided they were only going to sell it as a Dutch auction. Now I will give them credit that they did lower the print runs um, this was determined by, the, they did release the odds on the, the packs. So I believe it's almost like half the print run of 2022 Bowman Sapphire, which is really cool. And you could get an auto, you're guaranteed an auto every box and three parallel cards, which is really, um, honestly kind of loaded on the, uh, the Sapphire boxes. But they also, going to a... Uh, to a Dutch auction, they made a starting price and then a floor price. And their floor price was, I kid you not, $350. So that meant that when the Dutch auction started, the the, the start starting price was $850 a box. So the Dutch auction would start, I think it was 11.30 um, a.m., my t central time, this was on um, Friday, just this past Friday. And it started off at 850 and then in five minutes later, it would drop down to 825 And then five minutes later, it dropped down to 800 It would drop down $25 every five minutes until it sold out or until, you know, the floor was... It, it, they weren't going to go below that floor of $350. So... There was a lot of controversy, a lot of upset people, because, you know, any other time, 
um, Sapphire has been released. You could go to tops.com and order a box if you want it. And I mean, like you said, this box was 200. This box was one six, 160, I think. So even though it's expensive, not ridiculous. So you're talking about practically doubling the price although they do seem to be loaded if there's an auto every box and three parallels um, a lot of people felt like that was very overpriced and that was their floor price well I kind of wanted to watch and see how this went on um, and um, I was willing to try to get a box at the 350 floor level that's that was it's like you know what I'll buy a box of this and put it away I'm willing to do that. I don't think I would have opened it just because, to me, it's a lot of money to, to spend on a small box like that to open. So I was willing to uh, wait if it got down to the floor price. And sure enough, it kept dropping and dropping and dropping, and it got all the way down to the 350 floor price. So I went in and made my order, and then um, one of two things happened. Either tops slash fanatics um, pulled the floor out on people and ended the auction didn't want to sell them at the floor price because they hadn't sold out at that point or everybody was doing what I was doing and waiting until the floor price hit and then they had suddenly got just inundated with tons of orders I did kind of think about maybe I should try to buy a box at 375 um, just in case everybody's waiting for to the last second, but I didn't. And you know what? I'm glad I didn't because that's a lot of money to pay for a uh, just a a box like that. And it's a box that I wouldn't even be able to open on the channel. So what's the point? You know, except to hope that to flip it and make a little bit of money on it. So I'm glad I didn't get it. But there's a lot of very upset people that that like sapphire and now since they're going to this type of model um, of the dutch auction that this is just a sign of bad things to come with tops any type of hot product that they were going to want to do these dutch auctions that's what panini has done and a lot of people have quit collecting panini because of that um i think if you know, this is a weird way of Fanatics trying to 10x the hobby, is what I'm gonna, all I'm going to say. Because I really don't have any interest in looking forward to any other Sapphire products from now on. Because I'm kind of priced out of them now. Before, they were, you know, they are attainable for me. Now, they're not. So, that's Tops and Fanatics saying, we don't want you as a customer, Sandy Frank. So, you know what? I'm I'm cool with that. So I definitely hope that if you guys got a box that you hit something awesome or you're able to make some money on it. I have no problems with people flipping boxes. People can do where it's a free country. You bought it, you do what you want with it. That's always been my philosophy. Some people think, oh you should never flip boxes to try to make money. Yeah, whatever. Or sell some people say you shouldn't even sell cards. Which I think is crazy because that's how you buy other stuff that you want. At least for me. So, the important thing, thing is what do you guys think of this uh, Dutch auction situation? Do you think do you think Tops and Fanatics intentionally cut off the sales so that people couldn't get it at the floor price? Which I think is what happened. Or do you think it legitimately got all the way down the floor price and then in a second it sold out? Um, what do you guys think? And what do you guys think of Sapphire? Are you done with Sapphire? Um, is it now just a high roller product? Um, you know, like I said, to me, it's almost like Sapphire is dead to me from now on because I'm not going to be able to get any from now on. Because you know they're going to continue to make it, try to make it more exclusive and more expensive every time a new Sapphire set comes out. And even the Star Wars Sapphire, I can't afford those boxes. And I never have been able to. And I'm a big Star Wars guy. But I'm not paying 
I mean, those boxes were going for like six hundred dollars. Um, I don't know what they sold for originally, but I mean, there's no autos in that stuff. You're just hoping to get a one of one. I mean, that's the only way you can justify paying the price of those boxes is getting a like out of five or an out of one numbered card. And those type of products aren't fun to me. And I like opening cards for fun. So, um, pretty disappointed with Tops and Fanatics. And it's to me, this is just a bummer on the hobby because you know things are going to go that way. You know, maybe next time they have a hot release come out, they'll start doing those on Dutch auctions. And it's just going to squeeze people that enjoy the products out of it. Um, and probably turn them off from collecting altogether. So it seems like, and also by lowering the print run of Sapphire, which is great if you get a box of it, you're also kind of um, shrinking your collector base because you're making less of it. So how are you 10xing the hobby when you're doing something like this and ticking off your core customer base? Anyway, maybe I'm way off base here, but from the vibe I'm getting is like 95% of people that collect Sapphire stuff aren't very happy with the move that they made. And that doesn't seem to be a very smart move for Tops or Fanatics. So, thank you for watching. What do you guys think? I definitely want to hear your thoughts on it. It's been on my mind this week just because um, of this Dutch auction situation and it's the talk of the baseball card world right now. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and uh, go Rangers. Later.